Hi, I'm Rob Smith and welcome to my channel, Making Teas. So I've got a real weird little um, embroidery I'm going to do. It's only a one-off for someone's coat, but it's quite a um, strange sort of design, um, stitching-wise, because there's a lot of hex and hexagons all interlocking to each other. So I'll show you the design on the um, uh, machine and we'll um, stitch this out and just hopefully all the hexagons line up. It, it, it should all work fine, but um, sometimes these can be a little bit tricky. So uh, I'll show you the design. Okay, that's the design. And as you can see, it's lots of little hexagons all joined up with uh, some text and a bit in there. And I'll show you it embroidering and we'll have a look at the uh, end result to see if it all uh, stitched nicely. Okay, so I've marked that where I want the uh embroidery to go and pop some cutaway just on the inside and just because this is a bit of a difficult one I'm going to spray down the cutaway on the inside <clears throat> and I'm just going to get a hoop Put that roughly into position, get the grid, which I then use to get the correct position of the underside of the hoop. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Just offer it up with the, there you go, so that's, yeah. Right. I'm also going to put a bit of water soluble stabilizer on here. There'll be a video in the top corner explaining why I do this. This will help with keeping the stitching in the correct position as well as keeping the waterproof integrity of the coat because it is a water soluble stabilizer. So then we'll tighten this up and we'll get it on the machine. Okay, as you can see, that's turned out really, really well. All, each and every one of those hexagons has joined up beautifully. So what I'll do is I'll put that down. We'll take off the backing and the water soluble stabilizer and have a real good close up look at it. So there we are. That has actually turned out really, really well. The uh, hexagons have all come out lovely. So um, that's the benefit of um, backing really, really well and uh, the WSSS, WSS stabilizer, water soluble stabilizer, and it's all uh, come out beautiful. Okay, so we've embroidered the um, logo, and I've done a bit of a uh, close up there for you. But as you can see, it has turned out really well. There's no breaks in any of the logos, uh, hexagons. What you can find is with some logos with things like this, or circles, um, circles can, um, if you don't hoop it properly, can not necessarily join up properly or they can go a little bit oblong or egg shape. So when you're dealing with um, some sort of tricky looking um, logos, just uh, work out where your sort of points could be that you think there could be some issues. Make sure you um, hoop really well with uh, a good backing, spray it, even two layers of backing, put on a water soluble stabilizer, really get it in there nice and snug so there's no movement in the garment at all and then you shouldn't have any problems getting a um, fine detail like that all to line up and um, be okay because uh, you don't want to mess them up so there we go as you can see it's turned out pretty well only a short video just to sort of uh, give you some idea of Every job is different on embroidery, and some of them have got these really fine lines. So um, yeah, just take your time. Back in, put your back in on probably best quality back in you can use. Use a topping if you need to, and just uh, get it as stable as possible within your hoop. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't um, subscribed to the channel, please do. It really would help. I'd love to help grow the channel so I can help more people. And please smash that like button, because uh, that'd be really nice to know that people are actually watching it and hopefully uh, getting some 
uh, use from it. So uh, keep watching and I'll be back soon with some more videos. Thank you.